Hello and welcome back here to Talk FCB and welcome to the summer, really. Welcome to transfer news every single day. Welcome to rumours going round and things that you're thinking, is this true? Is this true? Is this true? And you're going to have that for the whole summer long. But the good thing is we have a transfer ban and that is what this video is about today, guys. Basically, I'm going to be going through some things, a lot of things that I've been thinking about, which actually the transfer ban for us right now is a good thing. And you'll probably look at that and you'll think, well... Is it though? Is it really a good thing? Well, I'm going to put out some points out there. Let me know down below at the end of the video what you think, whether you agree or not with what I'm saying. But right now, looking at it, all the things that have happened over this week and this season, I think that our transfer ban coming at this particular time, this summer, is actually the perfect time for it. I think it's actually a good thing that we've now got a transfer ban. The biggest reason for that is, and the biggest thing which really did start this phase for me, is the fact that yesterday we managed to somehow renew Dani Alves. It looked as though all hope had been lost. You know, we just signed Vidal from Sevilla. He's a right-back player. He can play there. It looked as though everything was pointing to Dani Alves leaving the club. And then right to the last second, he said that when he was at the travel celebrations at the Camp Nou, he realised that the fans did love him, that they did appreciate him, and that is why he decided to stay. I'm not really sure whether he ever considered seriously leaving but it was such a huge thing to make sure that he renewed and to make sure that we kept him on throughout this transfer ban and for the season after that the other massive transfer renewal was Pedro and that might sound, you know, Pedro didn't play that much last season. He wasn't a massive figure in our team, but he's such an important squad player. He's a player that no matter which one of the front three is unavailable, he'll be able to step in. And not only that, last season we saw him in a number of different positions, and he's actually become much, much more versatile this last season than he's ever been. He played in midfield a few times. Luis Enrique brought him on in the closing stages of games. He played in midfield. He played actually sort of right wing back against PSG at the Camp Nou if you remember in the group stages so it seems that Pedro wherever he's going to be deployed on the pitch he is an important player he's someone who's been with us for a while he's got a connection with the supporters and clearly you can see his commitment to the club by the fact that he has signed that new deal he's not going to be guaranteed first team football every single week and he knows that yet somehow he's still put pen to paper and he still wants to stay at the club it could well be that maybe in January or next summer he looks about leaving but he signed a new deal simply because if we do then decide to get rid of him if we do want to sell him we will then get some money for him and that right there is commitment and that right there is loyalty I talked about it already, the signing of Alex Vidal. He is a very, very key signing. And that is one of the big things as well. When we first got this transfer ban, it was almost like, that's it, you know, for a whole window now, we're going to be shut out. We're not going to be able to sign any players. We're not going to be able to do anything last January as well. And it just seemed as though we were going to be shut off from the rest of the transfer world and the players are not going to be linked with us. We're not going to be talking to players. But in fact, everything is going on exactly like normal. The only thing is they can't play. And I'm going to be coming onto that point in a minute. But the fact is, we may well have a transfer ban, but we're still signing players. We're still signing players. We're still talking to players. The only thing that we cannot do legally at the moment is register players to play official matches. But that'll come in January. And right now, we're still talking to players. We're still discussing. And we're still signing players as if we didn't even have a ban. So it's much, much less than I actually thought. And I think we all thought originally that it was going to be. It's such a less impact that FIFA have put on us. The massive thing as well is, um, when you sign a player uh, in the summer, you want them to bed into the squad, you want them to play pre-season matches, you want them to get familiarised with this squad before they start playing. That is the, the general idea. You don't really want them to be thrown at the, in at the deep end. And that is why Luis Suarez deserves so much credit. He was thrown in at the deep end. Um, and the fact that he has actually adapted so quickly, I think, is due down to his ban. And that's what links in with this. He was banned at the start of the season for a number of months. And then FIFA, we, we persuaded FIFA to allow him to train with us. And then he was able to train with the squad. He was able to get to grips with things very, very quickly. And for months and months and months, he was training. He was understanding the way we play. And then finally, he was allowed to play matches. And it took him a while to build up the match fitness. But once he got that, he was already established. He was already understanding the way that we played because he'd had those months to get used to it. And that's going to be exactly the same with whoever comes in this summer. Vidal is coming already. He's going to be allowed to train with us up until January. And he'll have that time to get that understanding, to understand 
understand the way we play. It's a bit good with him as well because he used to be with us when he was a youngster, so you'll understand that already. But it's that little settling in period that you want players to have. And every single player that signs this summer will have that chance then to settle in ahead of when they finally make their debut. And the thing, th thing is with that, the only downside of that is they can't play. That is the only downside, the fact they can't play. But we've now re-signed Alves, so we got right back covered. And the biggest point for me is the reason why the transfer ban is actually not such a bad thing. I don't really want anyone to come in in the summer. I don't really want a mass amount of players coming in, a mass amount of players leaving the club. We don't need that. We've just completed the treble. This is a squad that needs to stay together, that's got young players in it, that's got players in it which haven't been together for that long. The likes of Rakitic, Suarez, there's Ter Stegen, there's Claudio Bravo, there's Vermaelen, I'm sure will have a much better impact next season when he's fit. And there's players in this squad which all we need to do is stay together. We need to keep the continuity going. We need Need to keep the consistency and we don't need to change things around massively the most important thing this season is keeping everyone together keeping everyone focused the manager has just signed an extension on his contract that's massive as well and it's just keeping that rhythm going because at the moment we've got success we've got the formula we just need to keep it going you saw last season with Real Madrid they won the Champions League they went and sold Di Maria and they're messing around with their team and that's happened for many many years at Madrid we don't want that to happen to us and this season with a transfer ban it's enabled us to keep everyone together. Not many players are going to leave and not many players are going to come either. And that could be perfect for us. The other thing is, it has coincided brilliantly with the relegation of Barcelona B. Now, the, the transfer ban has nothing to do with the relegation. But what I'm saying is, now Barca B are relegated, it's the perfect time to have a transfer ban. Because now we'll look to the B team and we'll think, right, who can we take on? Who can we take away from the Segunda B? Because we don't really want players playing in that sort of level. That's not really the level they should be. A lot of players will go out on loan, but we're going to look at a lot of players as well and try and bring them in. We've seen this season, we've seen Munir, we've seen Sandro, and next season we could see the same players too. Samper as well, possibly Grimaldo. Players like that coming into the first team, and now we've got a transfer ban. It's the perfect time to have a look around at the younger players and try and blood them in. The likes of Halilovic as well. Denis Suarez is still on loan at Sevilla. Delafeo coming back. We don't know what's going to be happening with him. So there's a lot going on, and it's a great time now. We can have a look around and see what we've got already with within rather than going out and spending money and the biggest thing as well is the impact that it's had on the board the transfer ban initially when it was enforced actually did force the board's hand there was madness in the club there was a lot of things going around about the Neymar deal as well there was a lot of discontent inside the camp and then they said you know what let's have elections this summer and that's what's going to be happening and the transfer ban had a big effect on that as well and last summer it actually made the board make a decision, think about things, put correct planning in place. Because last summer they said, right, we need goalkeepers, we need centre-backs, we need a striker, we need a midfielder. And they actually did think about the signings, Zubi Zaretu, who does deserve some credit here, by the way. They thought about the signings, they brought them in, they, they paid the right fees near enough. And what they did was plan for the season, obviously knowing we are going to have a transfer ban. And look how well that has turned out for us. We planned well, we signed well, we signed exactly what we needed. We didn't sign anyone we didn't need. We didn't sign anyone just for the sake of it, apart from Douglas maybe. But apart from that, we signed players who have been effective, who have been crucial in our treble season, and it's worked out really, really well for us. And the final point that I'm going to make is, it's come at a perfect time for us, because right now, I don't see the transfer ban really affecting us, but it's not going to be the last that we hear about this, and not in relation to us, I mean about other clubs. Other clubs are going to get done by this, and I think that it's, it's a thing that's coming into football. A lot of other clubs are being investigated. Two of the big ones, Atletico and Real Madrid, are being investigated currently by FIFA for the same offence. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens to those. But right now, once we get our transfer ban done, that's it, it's done. We've done our time for it, we, we paid the consequences for breaking the rules, and quite honestly, it's not going to affect us. So right now, I think the transfer ban with the season we've had is actually a good thing. So, like I said, you may disagree with me, you may not. Leave your thoughts down below what you believe is the right outcome here. We've signed some players, we're going to be ready in January, we've got to keep this squad going, we've got to keep the continuity going, and we're going to have a look and see what young players we can bring up as well. So let me know your thoughts down below, guys. What do you make of the transfer ban right now sitting here with the players that we've just renewed? I don't see it affecting us, and that is brilliant. So leave your thoughts down below. I've been Talk FCB, back for another video here today. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. I will see you very, very soon indeed. But until then, as always, Visca El Barça. Barça, Barça, Barça.